one, two. Hey, we're going to get started. How's everybody doing? What did we think about the chicken spaghetti? Let's give the cooks a big hand on what they do. Where's our new guy? Stand up. We got a, Robert. This is Robert. He just got out of town today. I hope you don't mind me telling. He's going to be staying with us for for a few weeks, maybe 90 days. We don't know yet. Uh, probation brought him down. I want everybody to make you feel at home. He's our special guest today. Let's give him a big hand. Uh, hadn't been to the county in a few days, in a few weeks, or maybe a month or more, but I got a lot of people turn me down just a tad. Don, turn me down a tad. We got a lot of people at the county needs to come here bad. And uh, I want y'all to be praying. I'm going to go out there Friday night. I still kind of got a weird feeling when I go through there. You know what I mean? Hey, the old guy can't keep up with me. He'll be chasing me around. Where are you going? I said, just hang on. And I'll run through there and, and uh, get to everybody. I'll be hollering. And, uh, I still I got that I still got that feeling though, you know, about be going in that door when I walk in I go hey, I'm, I'm drawn up like this. <laughs> but uh hey, it's better than it used to be. Uh, hey, hey, man, uh you know, I really probably wouldn't go, but I have to go because this is my brothers out there. They need the Lord. And you know, a lot of them come down here and cause us a lot of trouble. That's where our trouble comes from. But us being a church and doing what we do for people, that's what we got to do. It's just a lot of them come in just to get out of jail. They come in, they slip open here. and there. That's where we get the name of being a dope church. But we are a church for addicts. People with hurts, habits, and hang-ups. This is a spiritual hospital for people to come and get some relief, man. Hey, if you don't come to church, hey, bro, what's up? You'll give me the room? Nope, okay. Uh, uh, boy, I messed up. Let me tell y'all about let me, let me tell y'all about this. I give up one of my rooms back here. <laughs> it's okay now. Way down about 12 men. But when it gets up where I got 30, they back there sleeping on top of each other. But we went out and helped uh, New Springs do the Christmas. And the guy called me, Dwayne, and said, Doug, you've done a good job. He wants me to make a list, Jennifer. i got to make that list. I want to put down ever how many bunk beds we need. I'm going to put it on there and just see if they'll buy a for us. You done emailed it to him? What else you put? It? Did you email it to new attention Dar Darwin? I got his email I need to give you. And uh, y'all be praying about that because if I can get them steel bump beds back there, we can hook it up. Then Tony can keep his room and then he won't get mad at me. Andy. Huh? Well, uh, Hey, he's got 25 kids. He wants yeah, to keep in one yeah, room. Yeah. Hey, whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. But listen, we really can't be a functional church without a kids' ministry. Amen. And we need it. And if it, I ain't giving you another room. Uh, I tell you what I'm going to do, though. I want everybody to pray that God will give us a new church. A new church. Hey, we started, we're growing. I want to talk to everybody a couple minutes before we get started with the service today. Please, I got a couple of things. And look, I just have to announce this from up front. I want to make this attention to everybody. Please don't get mad at me, okay? It's just some rules that we got. I got a problem with people wanting to bring drinks up here. Kids can't bring drinks in the sanctuary. No colored drinks in the sanctuary. If you drink water, it's fine. We got another problem. While people's eating, kids is up here running around playing and tearing everything down. We got to stop that, okay? Because this ain't a playground. 
this is a church and this is where we come to worship. And I know it's wet outside, I know it's bad. Uh, but we need to kind of keep it time. I don't mind them up here ministering, but doing some of the stuff that's going on, I really need the parents to, to watch it, okay? Uh, because, hey, all the building, it's, it is what it is, but I tell you what, I, I, I love this place. And I want to keep it, I want to keep it clean. I want to keep it nice, so we can come and worship. Uh, I want to talk to you about the account, our business account. Uh, our business account, we're doing good. We're around fifteen thousand in the bank. Uh, it's been going down our summer months. We pay twelve hundred dollar fire bills every month. And we're paying out more than we're getting to eat it up our account. Uh, I, we had it up to almost 20000 at one time, but it eat it up to about. And that's, uh, let me tell you something. For laborers of the field, we've never had over $3,000 in that thing. You know, 3000 is the most we've ever kept. But God has been blessing. And it's up to that much. And uh, we really need to, I want to talk to you about tithes. Today now I know I know people come here we ain't none of us rich I'm poor uh, but I want to read to you what the Bible says about your tithes. Do you know that you are cursed because Adam and Eve eat of fruit? We all know that. Don't we? It's a generational curse. It's just going to go on till the Lord comes back. If you also cursed. Two curses on your life, and you wonder why I can't never get it up. I can't never get no money. I can't never get a car. I can't never have nothing. You ain't paying your tithe. I don't care if you pay them here. It'd be nice if you do, but if you don't, pay your tithe somewhere. Give you money to chair to a charity fund. Make sure it's helping people. Make sure it's doing something good for people. Laborers of the field is a great thing. We are trying, I want everybody here to be announcing to your parents, to your aunts, your uncles, or cousins that go to other churches, this is a missionary church. This is a mission down here. This ain't a, a, a normal First Baptist church. Okay? People, if we walked in there, they'd be talking about, look at them, look, look, look at them, boy, they're hippies. They, yeah, yeah, we're hippies. But, uh, this is a mission church where people can come in here with hurts, habits, and hang-ups in their life and wear their hats on their head, wear their shirts, t-shirts, come straight in from work, have tattoos, hey, whatever. I could care less because this old body ain't going with us. Amen. But I want to well, I want to get the word out. All these churches send money to Haiti. They send it overseas. They send it they, everywhere in our own Anderson County. And I, I want to spread this thing worldwide. I mean, that's my goal. What about Anderson? It is a jungle right here in Anderson. And it, hey, it's bad out here. It's bad. And I'm telling you, we need to get the word out to where people or send money to the laborers of the field, or send blankets, or send supplies, whatever. God will put it on their heart if we can just get them to the... We ain't never been able to make this happen. But I feel like it's time. I feel like it's going to happen. This is a mission church. Where we, this is a mission here. We've got a mission to see people come in and change their life for the love of Jesus Christ. That's been strung out on though. Me, if I'm going to use me for... I don't like to pick on people and call you out. Me, for an example. I was pitiful. Man, I mean, I was a man. I was a total wreck. <laughs> I was a shit man. Doing drugs, sticking needles in my arm, and stupid stuff. And I got saved. And God changed my life. I ain't perfect today. Y'all not listen to me, Laban's Field. Y'all are Laban's Field. This is just the building. I'm not a perfect preacher, okay? I'm just like y'all. I, I work through this thing, and it just comes to a point where I'm the pastor here at this church. I really didn't want this job. 
But I had to take the job because God knows if I didn't take it, then it probably would have crashed. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in it. I know all the loops. I know I know things. Man, I can walk in and see people go, hey, that dude's high. You need to check on him. Oh, no, he ain't. Oh, no, he ain't. Next week or so, they're kicking him out. I'll tell them things. Don't do that, Doug. Oh, no, man, you're wrong. Okay, well, okay, you was right. I ain't right about everything, but let me tell you something. You can't get over on me out here on the street because I've been there, done it, ain't we? We know. If you're going to do drug dope, don't come down here because everybody's going to know it. You hear me? Uh, but we want to get this out to different churches and different people. And if you get on your Facebook page, put it, I mean, blow it down. Blow it down. Post some good stuff on Facebook. Everybody's bashing us, bashing us, bashing us, bashing us. Hey, I want to see Facebook page booming with labors of the field. What's going on down here with the children? About the parade? About who? About our service? How, how many people had a uh, good time Sunday morning? Wasn't it awesome? Huh? Oh, y'all got, I'm talking about service. We and uh, uh, Chance's uh, funeral went good. It was a good, good funeral. Uh, we worked Jennifer and uh, Felicia, where's she at? Put that thing together, they did a great job, man. They can smoke stuff like that. They, they did a good job. Penny was real happy. She will. I believe she's going to come here. She's always in and out here. She come the other day and, and walk through. But anyway, if we can get the church on this, get everybody, get word out. Listen, talk good. Put some good stuff on Facebook and tell everybody what we do. We're a missionary church. Let's, let's see if we can't get some more stuff coming here. Oh, we're already feeding 3,000. God fed five. I want to start feeding 5,000 a month. Oh. Uh, Maybe 10. I don't, whatever. Who knows? There's no limit on what God will give us if we'll get prepared for it. Reason he ain't done, done it because we can't handle it. He knows it. But I want to read you something. Tony, Tony Hawkins is preaching tonight anyway, but I just I wanted to share a few things to church about our camp. And this, I don't want our camp to get to a point to where we struggle. I want to be able to send the kids. I want to keep it local. Uh, one of the guys had a wreck on their truck. I, I'll tell you what I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. This probably ain't right, but I'm going to tell everybody anyway. I took these vans out here and bought them, and I put them in my name. You just put insurance on them, just saying nothing about it. And I've been using them down here. With a big van, I put, had to put commercial insurance on it. It's high, man, it's high. The little van, they had a wreck. Got nipped that much at the back of the trailer. I said, man. Well, they called me. Wanted to know why I had six guys in it. I said, well, we use it to haul uh, stuff for a thrift store. So we can't keep regular liability. You're going to have to put commercial insurance on it. Uh -oh. So I went up there and added it to this one. Man, it doubled it. I thought, oh, no. That, that's a lot more money. Uh, Got lawyers and stuff about the church, ties the situation, and all that's going good. But ties, I want to explain something to you. If you want a blessing in your life, now I ain't sitting up here asking for you for money because I, I don't get no money. I don't get no money. I ain't down here for money. I'm not a preacher that that begs for money. I don't want to sell you holy water. I don't want I don't want you to think I'm trying to take your money. But I am a pastor of a church. And it costs us a lot of money to run this place. You hear me? Food-wise, I mean, it costs a lot of money to run this. Now, Malachi 3, if you want to turn, I want you to listen to, listen to this. I want you to read this with me. Everybody there? Tex, I like it. Hey, you still work the sound booth, okay? This going to be playing on the computers. All right, we're going to start it. Uh, Malachi 3, verse 6. Find me up. Verse 6 says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. 
That is why you descendants of Jacob are, are, are not already completely destroyed. Ever since the day of your ancestors, you have scorned my laws and failed to obey them. Now return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. But you ask, how can we return when we've never gone away? Should people cheat God? You've cheated me. This is what God's saying now. But you ask me, what do you mean? You did, when did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of tithes and offerings due to me. Listen to this. A cur you are under a curse for your whole nation has been cheating me. Let me tell you something about Christian folks. There's two things they do. First thing they do, they gossip and talk about each other. We don't, we don't do that here. Second thing they don't do, they don't trust God enough to pay their tithes when they first get their check. Hey, you are under a curse. Your whole nation has been cheating me. Bring all tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. What is the storehouse? Church. Listen to me. He gives you $100. You don't get that money. You're thinking that you ain't getting it. He gives you that money. If you can't give him $10, there's something wrong. You hear me? If you do, says the Lord Almighty, listen to this. I will open up the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out blessings so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Listen to this now. This is what's cool. He says, try it. Try me. Let me prove it to you. Your crops will be abundant, and I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not shrivel before they are ripe, says the Lord Almighty. All nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord God Almighty. That's the serious stuff. That's what we got to do to run a church. If we get out here and get on Facebook, get out we social media, we can't. We need to be up. We need to be putting good stuff on there. Everybody needs to be putting three or four things on there every day. I'm not no Facebook guy, but I'm fixing to learn how. I mean, I can do a little bit. I got about 2,000 friends, but I, as far as me, Hey, hey, bye, see you later. That's all I can do. Hey, but it's cool. But I, I just wanted to go over that with you because you you wonder why we can't never, you know, it's hard to pay your tithes when you go on fixed income. But if you do it, if you make $10, give a dollar. I mean, good God, man. Watch what happens. I want to see the windows of heaven open up and pour out blessings on all of your lives because it will happen. I don't care if you ain't got the five dollars. He'll bless you. He, hey, money don't mean nothing to him. He could care less about your money. But it's in, well, that's what he says he wants you to do to keep his churches going. That's what he expects us to do. Is that right, Andy? That's what he expects. And us as being a church is what we should do. We, sh we got to do what God tells us to do. Are we going to always be, we ain't going to be perfect, so don't think I'm St. Vernon or I'm this and oh, I, I, I'm, I'm all, hey, look, just be real. Let's just be real today. Let's just be real. We all put our pants on the same way. And we all can do better and live a good life. That song Parker sang, there ain't nothing wrong with doing what's right. There ain't nothing wrong with it. So let's let's work on it. Man, this is a good crowd tonight. I, I, I love this church, man. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. I'll tell you something. I love you. And, I, and you know what's even better than that? God loves you more. Amen. God loves you more. And I just wanted to kind of go over that with you today. And uh, 
Who we got coming Sunday? I like anybody found a book? <laughs> Miracle Tree, the 16th? Uh, no. oh. Alright, listen now. I got two baptism sheets hanging up here. Friday. I'm gonna be cold. I'm going to go check on one of them. I want my get one of them things just plug up, drop in there and heat the water up. Hey, I'll, if it's cold, it's better though because you won't never forget it. Hey, let me tell y'all what I've done. I went in the hole with a heart. Huh? Yeah. I ain't going to be in it. Let me tell you, let me tell you what I've I went to the hole with a heart in February. And we went up to the mountains, and, it, and man, there was snow on the ground. And we got up in that river, I like to die. But you know what? I never will forget that day. Alex Ritchie stood out there and done 18 men. And I was thinking, you know, it changed watching him do what he done. Man, when he got out of that water, he was purple. Was it Jones Gap? Anybody ever been there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we was up there. He's got a little place he baptizes and there was still snow on the ground. And hey, we'll probably just leave it cold and let everybody have a good time. <laughs> okay, sixteenth Friday night we're gonna Huh? Gary Hart will be back here. Yeah. We got a list. You know, you know to do. But uh Okay, we're going to uh, do circle prayer. Everybody ready? You want to do this, Tony? I want to remind everybody about our uh, uh, recovery meeting tomorrow night. we got a super-duper special speaker coming. I think you all get a lot out of it if you come. Surprise. Father, Lord, thank you. I thank you again tonight for this opportunity to come in your house. Lord, I thank you to, that I'm in America where I can worship you freely. And Lord, now I ask that you bless these tithes and offerings, Lord. I ask that you uh, go to each one and, and touch their hearts. Uh, uh, put a burden on them for tithing. Lord, I ask that you convict them of, of the tithing, Lord, because we need the monies to run. And most of all, I ask that you Use all this money to further your kingdom. Don't let one dime of it, not one dime of it, be used to anything but to further your mission. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I think Michelle, well, she's always got something to say, but I think she's got something else to say. Oh. Yeah, she flipped some flops on me. I got something to say. You want to say it? For the people that um, are going to be picking up Christmas for the angel trees, um, we're having the presents delivered the 19th and the 20th. So pickup will be on December 21st. I'll try to make phone calls to everyone that um, is on the angel tree list. Again, we were not taking any more after a certain date. We had a cutoff date because we ended up with 35 kids. We started out with 25 and ended up with 35 because we took a few extras. A few men that come in and recover these children. But uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the sponsors that um, graciously donated their time. I've gotten just today alone about 20 phone calls asking could they do more than what we put on the list, what we asked for. Yeah. So isn't that good that, that um, I mean, we give them a pretty long list of things that we wanted, we wanted to try to purchase for the kids, and then they talked today. They call and ask, can they donate bikes for a couple of kids? You know, just and then they already got the list stuff and plus some stuff. But I just think it's amazing that um, people open up their hearts um, and obey God and give them like that. 
And I'm thankful that they chose labor of the field and pulled angels off our tree instead of going to the mall and doing it. Not saying that the mall's not a good place to go give, but down here like, there's a lot of broken people and a lot of broken children, and I think they're going to be happy Christmas. So the 21st is what we're looking at on pickup dates, and again, I'll try to contact each and every one that I have a contact for to make sure that they know what time to be here. Thank you. We're gonna do music or gonna do music. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll the videos then. Kids going back.